Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today I want to answer the question, what can Dozer's shield stop, what can it withstand, and what are the best ways of dealing with the charging bull that is Dozer? I've seen a lot more people playing him on the battlefield recently, a lot more people getting mad about him, you know, I think a lot of players, especially if you're new to the game, will just throw whatever they have at him, usually having little to no effect, so let's find out once and for all the best ways to deal with him. Before we begin though, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. We're making our way to 47,000 subscribers at the moment and as always, any support you guys can give me there is hugely appreciated. Okay, without further ado, let's move into some testing here and see just what is effective against Dozer and what isn't. So starting off with the RPG here, as you can see, that one does 36 damage. It also triggers the shield away animation. That's the new animation that came into the game with Season 5. The M5 also 36 damage, interestingly. So whilst the RPG is more powerful against vehicles, it seems that it has absolutely no additional effect on Dozer. Here we've got the Lissile, and I found this really surprising. The Lissile actually does 60 damage. It doesn't trigger the shield away effect like the RPG and the M5, but I didn't really expect it to do so much since it's uh, kind of the weakest launcher of the bunch. C5 here, absolutely nothing. And again, doesn't matter if you put uh, one or two, it has zero effect, not even splash damage on the feet there. So this is the anti-tank grenade. Again, absolutely no damage. SPH launcher here, so it won't even stick to the shield. It just bounces right off of there, and it actually falls down right by his feet, but despite being able to see those as feet, you still don't get any splash damage. The underbarrel grenade launcher here, the frag one, doesn't do any damage if you hit it right on the shield, but it will do a little bit there if it bounces off. Moving on to anti-tank mines, absolutely no damage if he crouches down with the mine in front of him there, but if you do lift the shield up, it is gonna do 50% damage. Here we've got a Claymore, absolutely nothing there, walks right into it with his feet, and no damage. Now the Incendiary Grenade, as most of you will know, is a great counter to Dozer. He just gets annihilated, his trait doesn't help him at all there. This was another one I found interesting, so you can't melee Dozer through his shield, obviously, but you can use the defibs to actually shock him through the shield, and you actually don't even need to charge them up here. I just clicked, just pressed fire, and in a split second you kill him. I'm not sure how much I'd recommend that one, like he's probably going to shield bash you before you can get him. That's the regular frag grenade, zero damage, and now we're moving on to the vehicle. So here we have the 120mm heat shell for the main battle tank, 36 damage there, so... Definitely not a kill. Here we are in the Nightbird with the miniguns, and as expected, the small rounds there just completely bounce off of his shield. And these are the rocket pods. So they're doing, what, around 7 damage each there. Definitely not worth wasting your rocket pods on a dozer if you see him. I don't think the angle here really matters. It's just the splash damage hitting him there. And now we've brought out, we've brought out Big Bertha here, the railgun tank, to see what this can do. 635 damage so yeah dozer is not surviving the railgun tank nor is he surviving the bombs from the stealth helicopter here moving on to the eblc ram we're trying a few of the weapons so this is the hmg and as expected those rounds just bounce right off of him the missile launcher however doesn't do any damage also doesn't trigger the shield reaction but interestingly here the 40 millimeter grenade launcher does trigger the same shield reaction as the launchers that is supposed to give you a window to actually do damage but if i spam it on him here none of them do damage so maybe another damage source can only hurt him you know another soldier firing there's the 60 millimeter flat cannon no damage from that and here we are in the attack helicopter with the anti-personal rockets pretty similar to the rocket pods from the nightbird they're not very effective the wire guided launcher the tow missile Pretty decent damage there, I think it's mainly just due to the splash. And surprisingly here, the 30mm cannon bounces right off of his shield, but if you go and fire this at the ground, you can do a little bit of splash damage there. And as you can see, if he crouches down here and I fire at the ground, he's not taking any of that splash damage. So splash damage on Dozer seems to be a little bit inconsistent. Some weapons that fire at his feet when he has his feet showing will do splash damage to him, but some other weapons, like the Claymore for example, don't seem to do any damage even if he walks into it with his shield not properly covering his body. 
So there are a few effective methods for dealing with him here. I think the overall winner has to be the incendiary grenade. It completely bypasses both his shield and his explosive damage reduction trait. But if he's charging right at you, that probably won't be very effective. I think it's better for dealing with, you know, a camping dozer in a corner who simply won't come out. If you happen to be playing engineer and you have some teammates on him as well, using one of your M5 or RPG shots won't do enough damage to be worth it, but it will give your teammates that little window to shoot him as he momentarily raises his shield. The Lissile, on the other hand, actually does great damage against him, but if he's running straight for you, he's just going to shield bash you as your mid animation. So, you know, I think it's worth going for him if you're firing a Lissile from a long distance, maybe help out your teammates, but if he's going straight for you, probably not the best tactic. Also, if you're playing support, I think the defibs, I think they're a fun way to kill Dozer. It's kind of like the ultimate diss, right? Killing him at his own game. So if you can pull that off, then go for it. But if he's charging you, he's probably going to have the superior range with his shield bash. If you're in a vehicle and you see Dozer, it's probably not worth going for him over other infantry players it's just going to cost you more rounds and take more damage to put him down unless you're going to shoot him square in the jaw with the railgun tank which let's face it is a pretty unlikely occurrence or you're dropping bombs from the stealth helicopter that said though that also shows in this video i think that if you're somebody who doesn't like playing against vehicles picking dozer is probably a pretty good idea to increase your survivability. Now, with all of that said though, I honestly think the best way of dealing with him is to use none of these gadgets. It is simply to shoot him in the legs if you see him running. Shoot him in the side or the back if you can and you get the opportunity, obviously. You know, if he's crouching in a corner, maybe use an incendiary grenade and maybe pick the incendiary grenades if you see a lot of dozers on the enemy team. And if he's charging you and he's too close that you can't aim at his legs, your only real course of action here is to sidestep around him and shoot him or knife him in the back. At that kind of a range, I don't think you're going to be able to do enough damage with the incendiary. You know, if you go into that grenade throwing animation, he's either going to switch to his primary and kill you, or he's going to just shield bash you. Once that dozer closes the gap and he's that close to you, there really is no proper counter to him outside of just stepping around him and killing him back. So I hope this helped somebody. I certainly found it interesting to do the testing here. Despite having played the game since its release, a lot of these things I didn't know for myself. So a big thank you to Asamon for helping out with the filming of the video. And a big thank you to all of you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe, of course, for more Battlefield. And if you missed this video on update 5.1, which I believe releases tomorrow as of the recording of this video, it's Monday today, then go and check that one out. Have a good one, guys and I'll see you in the next video.